Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. Peter, who reads the game that little bit... Benzema! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Benzema is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Vinicius Junior, and here's Benzema, and here's Azza. Inter have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Now it's Perisic, and it's Brozovic. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hazard did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. And it's played forward. Vinicius Junior. Alexis Sanchez. And here's Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez plays it out to the flank. Damian crosses. And he's there to cut it out. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior. Goal! 
Teresic. for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're already into the second period. Real Madrid can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. That'll be a throw-in. Casemiro, nil nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. And here's Benzema. Hazard. Vinicius. Vinicius Junior. Oh, real danger here. Damian hoists it forward. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. There are a few waiting for it. Aimed in towards... Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. to Milan are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Alaba drives it forward. Now it's Azar. And here's Benzema. Benzema gets flagged offside. Real Madrid merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Vinicius Junior. Now it's Benzema. Modric. Gets it back. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. It could be... It's Benzema! A great save, real class. Benzema really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Oh, Stitch defending, but that'll do. Chooses to go back. Just brushed off the ball there. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. Would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? I think all.